whitewashed. You know what I mean? Like Hamilton. Like if I'm Babe Ruth, I'm black, baby. Don't get it twisted anywhere on the press calling me white. You feel me? Well, keep like why would he yeah. just ro- why would he roll? All with right, it? we got a red bull in him. We got a you feel me at that point. Best friends. Yep. From West Coast. That was actually beautiful, except for his reception. Yeah, you can't catch for shit. It's another episode of Significant Brothers, brought to you by Purple Sour Patch Kids. Hug your sisters and kiss your misters. First sour, then sweet. First they're sour. And then they're sweet. Do you, I mm. wonder if this guy has a name on the sour power straw. Geruda. 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 It says Dorval. Do- Dorval. 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 Do you think they're d- they're in a pro- the cat. they're in a pro- fucking production meeting in Venezuela and they're like, how do we compete with the Sour Patch Kids? <laughs> Give them a name, Dorval. Dorval. Hey Ew. boys, it's Dorval. When I found out Chester Bennington died, I found out at work, and I never knew his name was Chester Bennington. I was going to say, I found out that his yeah, name was Chester Bennington. So I was at work, and uh, Sue Lakend. Got to edit that out so you don't know where I work. Sour Power Cat. S- Mama, Mama S, said that uh, she goes, oh, Chester Bennington died. <laughs> and I said... Wait, is that the guy from I said, who's him? Chester Bennington? She goes... Are you kidding? The lead singer from Linkin Park, That's and I was, I was like, thinking, yeah. "Oh, I knew that." I was like, "Is that is that a is that is that a sad thing?" Like, I didn't oh, know Linkin Park still had a huge following. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! I guess in I the end, I got even off matter. track. We weren't talking about Chester Cheeto. That. I swear, I thought you were saying that's his real name. Chester Bennington <laughs> is Chester Cheeto's real name. Chester Cheeto Bennington. Dude, you're not a real person, and I'm so <laughs> glad you're I back. I was looking up Sour Power Straws. <laughs> it, uh, I it, love this podcast. The Red Bull's really like... <laughs> it is. Energy. I was just going to say, you cannot come to film any longer if you do not have a Red Bull. I'm like, kicking you right out of my house. It has to do with intoxication yes, it level does. or anything. It's intoxication level... With plus caffeine. Uh, Tobacco plus caffeine. caffeine and you're good to I go. I mostly just need the Dude, caffeine. Dude, we're fucking on. It's Chester wedding. Cheeto. Next time, next time you come in here and I offer to stop and get you a Red Bull and you say no, I'm going to like drive into the bodega. <laughs> drive into a pole shit. and kill like you because run, you're worthless without caffeine. Run, through, run right through the wall that's like true. fucking Kool-Aid <laughs> man. That's definitely true. So if we had a, a rider, it's just one thing, like mm-hmm. load Leander up with caffeine. So yeah. wait, do you work today? Yeah. At uh, what time do you work? When do you start? I worked from what times? Eight to two thirty. Okay, how about you, Abby? Uh, I worked today from eight As fifteen well. uh-huh. to six o'clock. How about and you work from home or? Well, it depends. depends right? It changes. So how about one day we record like at five in the morning? How about that? I actually would love. I that. just want to see what would happen. Well, I'm how, next yeah. next week is my last week, and but then he I would have, have to weeks. sleep here. So in two weeks, two weeks, I would have two weeks off. Perfect. So you, you know we're gonna have to start moving possibly back to like what, Sunday? much later Sundays because I'm gonna be coaching and Jack's gonna be coaching. What's with you? What, what do you mean? What's with you? <laughs> like I got ja- what's, what's your deal? <laughs> Jack's are the producer. What's your deal? Hmm? Oh, so if Jack's not available. Oh, so you were saying it's solely based on him? I thought you also had. I mean, it's a lot more. Yeah, and plus a lot more. Well. We're forced. See, in I mean, the fall, like it actually. S- hold on. In the fall, it actually makes sense. Why, wait, why are we talking about this on an episode? Fuck because you, we'll talk about it. After. No, this is cool. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> they have to be here to see everything. This they is a behind the scenes the episode. episode. Fuck you, Jack. We do not keep anything from our fan. That's actually what Amaya used to do. That's exactly what my sister used That's to do. That's like cocaine going Yo, into a system. Nobody knew that she was high after doing some shit like this. I, I don't know what they thought. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad Not that I'm like, high, but... Yeah. Abby, what is she doing? So, um, yeah, because Sunday's for football season. <laughs> Sunday's football season. We, we want to hang out anyway. We might as well film the pod before. And we're oh. going to be home for... So you're assuming that me, of all people, are going to want to watch sports? It doesn't fucking matter. Oh, okay, okay. Jack's not available because he's coaching. When did your schedule Male. I don't know what my like what my time frame is. I don't want to assume the gender of the team. Like, but I, would, I might be able to do female. like seven thirty. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so we might have to do the five a.m.s. <laughs> I think those Before could be, work. <laughs> I think those could be few and far. 
between Chester Cheeto. Do it outside. Sing <laughs> in the end as Chester Cheeto. You know what would be fire? What does he even sound like? I if think Chester it, Cheeto. I'm just doing it, Joe from <laughs> Family Guy. Peter. Hey, Peter. What if we do it like at four in the morning, and then we right in the middle of the or right behind us, we have a bright ass light, so it attracts all the bugs. And we're dodging bugs the whole time. We're doing a pod at three in the morning, stupid tired. We got, drinking coffee. We got to get him a like a case of Red Bull. We're inside, dude. <laughs> no, but we can bring it outside. This is your backyard on your little patio. So you want me to make noise at <laughs> four a.m. on here, a weekday? Uh, hear me out here. Hear me out here. <laughs> oh, okay. Your neighbors. What, why didn't I just think of it like that? Why didn't here? I just hear you out? <laughs> yeah, your neighbors here aren't even in that house. Your neighbors here are a bunch of shit boys. They're eventually going to be in that yeah, house. Yeah, but I'm talking about a couple of episodes. We just need enough. Why do you get so Dominican? A uh, couple of episodes. We only uh, need... Choco, uh, choco We only need about 25 of those episodes to sprinkle amongst our 250 episode theoretical... You know what I'm saying? Why don't you guys come to one of the games I coach and we'll record mid-game. How about we record from the midfield? Yep. <laughs> Middle of the Bring game. all the equipment, set it up inside <laughs> one of the goals. and catch the, a ball. Every <laughs> fucking... Every four minutes, Leandro's oh! getting... Leandro's getting one off the dome piece. Well, imagine I like die. <laughs> <laughs> Let's I think do it. That's great. You're, you're no, short I actually, stop. I actually like short the stop. Yeah, you. That's where we're saying right between. You know what we should do? Third, we're playing. Here's, it's here's soccer. Here's oh, my no, idea. Softball. Here's my idea. Okay. We should like go out one night, like just a night, like go out and drink and have a good time, and then record an episode like afterwards at like Late one night. o'clock in the morning. That's, that's actually a good idea. Wants to drink. So we need to get him. All I gotta do, is a we take him to Taqueria. He has one margarita, and the boy's lit as a fucking but you gotta catch light bulb. I'm lit as a lightning bug, my motherfucker. Like nobody, so nobody drives, drives, and we all just Uber back and. Or, or we do a podcast while drunk driving. That's a, that's one thing to do. It's a joke. It's a satire bag. If we had a Tesla, we could definitely do it. <laughs> just auto, <laughs> but on autopilot. You still get a DUI and an autopilot. They said. Oh oh oh! You're yeah. drunk. Well, no no I'm. I'm drunk. Can I don't we, know about um, you. Can we expense a Tesla for the pod? I think so, as long as we register this as an LLC. I don't agree with Elon. He's a fraud. And plus his uh, his dad's fucking his sister. Yep. He's a fraud, and Wazowski. You know his brother's worth $750 million? Why? Uh, who? Is, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like a farmer. Like he, he's part. like successful outside is of he Elon. A farmer? He's like a what good version f- of his brother. Fucking family. I think he has something to do with horses. Elon Musk's brother. It has to do with Talking farming. Talking to the mic. I just it has to do with farming. I just want to throw this out here. Sitting here looking at the screen behind you, it's stunning that you look exactly the same as you did as like a three-year-old. Not me. Thank you, brother. I don't know if that's a good thing for so like young you or a bad thing for uh, old you. Ch- what, oh, Leandro, we have to make an official statement. I wrote this down. What's your thoughts on Vin Scully? Kimball. Huh? Vince Scully. Uh, from the X-Files? Yep. Mm-hmm. Scully? Yep. Um, what I think of Vin Scully... Hmm. In comparison to Mulder. Mark Mulder. Um, Mark Mulder, Joe Buck. Joe Buckwald? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a, a little flash and it's like, I don't know who the fuck Joe Buckwald is. I've just heard it in, in, in passing. You're right. Yeah. But you tell me about this guy, Bill Bill Russ and uh Vinny Scully. So Vinny Scully he uh he had a role on I never really watched the X Files, but apparently he was very good. He really narrated the the, the episodes. It's probably more referees like, we're talking about here. <laughs> more more into like Duck Dodger and the twenty first century kind of stuff. Yes. Yeah. So, what's your thoughts on that whole thing? On Duck Dodgers in the twenty first century. To a behind the bag, and here comes Buckner. The behind the bag, it gets through Buckner. Night schools in the Mets win it. So it's baseball. Um, How'd you know that was baseball? I'm actually a little proud of you. <laughs> and the Mets win it. <laughs> he's, do- he's Dominican. It's like ingrained in his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, he's uh, bor- he's the born. The microchip in him is just like. That's <laughs> the 86 <laughs> World Series. <laughs> that baseball. continued the curse of the Bambino. This could be our sports episode. Baseball been very, very good to me. Do you know what the curse of the Bambino is? Excited, huh? Do you know what the curse of the Bambino is? Uh, is that um, uh, the curse that if you leave the Yankees and go to the Boston. Um, Something happens. It's actually the reverse. Oh, the so NBA they NBA. traded away Babe Ruth, yeah. who was. I knew that. I knew it had to do with Babe Ruth. Wait, got it. Real quick, do yep. you subscribe? Have you seen things on li- online about um, the theories that Babe Ruth was actually like a a black, black guy, like a black yeah, guy, or black Dominican man. guy, a black man? I've heard ones that say that he was like Dominican. 
this, the thing well, he was hard, an or didn't he grow up in an orphanage? Yeah. So it's hard to argue. He's probably Dominican. I think it's all bullshit. I would love to believe that he's a Dominican guy, but I think it's bullshit. Like, j- just to believe, like, why do, like... Bambino think, Ruthie! Didn't they, think, didn't they think, like, a bunch of, like, um... That was a joke pre- about Dominicans being orphans. Presidential people were also black. Like, they, they, like, there's a whole bunch of things where they George like, Washington was black. They, whitewa- they whitewashed him. It's like, do you think that person would want to be whitewashed? You know what I mean? Like Hamilton. Like, if I'm Babe Ruth, I'm black, baby. Don't get it twisted anywhere on the press calling me white. You feel me? Well, keep like why would he <laughs> yeah. just why would he roll? All right, it? we got a red bull in him. We got a you feel me at that point. At that point, they had already crossed the the the, the race barrier from the Negro League into the white no, league. At that point, they hadn't. That, this was like the yeah, yeah. 1910s, right? Well, it was like 1915 when the first uh, black person went into the. Yeah, look. No, Jackie Robinson's in the 1940s. You're no. thinking of Fleet Walker Toledo in the 1880s. Thank you. So what the fuck? <laughs> That's about fucking forty years. No, I know, but it wasn't. Co- I it wasn't commonly accepted, right. and I don't think it was the professional MLB that we know it today. And when Jackie Robinson broke through in the forties, um, Satchel Paige, he also. Uh, you ever look at the Negro League team name? We've talked about this actually. New York Grays. You said Moses Fleetwood, right? That's who you said. Fleet Walker Toledo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Did you know that the first person that ever. Like slick. Truly break the color barrier in professional sports was an Asian man in the NBA. Who? I don't remember what his name was. But Yao Ming? Yep. How do Asians break the color barrier? I mean, he was the first. Do like, Asians count as PS- POC? Listen, we need yes. to first figure out if, if really? Yao Ming was a genetic experiment. That's what we first have to figure yeah, out. I think so, too. Here if he go. was, then go he off, doesn't Landro. count. This is all you, baby. Actually, that is the most cultural appropriation I've ever seen. They were like, what makes a good basketball player? Big as fuck. Bet. So we're, that's all we're going to do. Make that's a culture? Big as fuck basketball. What do you think of Victor Wanamalala? Never heard of him. He's the French seven guy? foot six. Have you seen his highlights? Yeah. Victor Wanamalala? Is he good? Oh, nasty. Besides the fact that he could just do this? But he pretty much does that, but he's also got a fadeaway game. He, he moves like a he moves like a six. He's foot like two Kevin. Looks like twigs. Like he's a really Kinda, skinny guy. Yeah. I think I've seen. No, him no, no. You're thinking school. of Chet Holmgren. I'm thinking about when he was in high. You're school. thinking of Chet Holmgren. Mm-hmm. He's a big thunder guy over here. He, he almost seems like you're only playing because you're big. There is no athleticism here. You're just a giant. Yeah, they're both pretty athletic. Because you know? how tall is a uh, 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 LeBron James? How tall like is six, he? Six, six seven. Six, six nine. Fuck, that's pretty fucking tall. No, that, I think that's six nine. Monster, monster, six nine, bro. Do you see Bryce is He's six six now? His son. That's the younger one, right? Yes. Bronny's the older one. That Bronny's six two. Kind of not. Shit. I just found yeah. out that the shortest basketball player was like five six. No, smaller. Five four. Uh, Muggsy Bogues. Muggsy Bogues five two. He was like five. He was like five, two five, or five three. three. Bro. <laughs> and then there was uh, what's crazy. his name? Who's got the guy in the Denver Nuggets when we were growing up? Uh, it wasn't Muggsy Bogues. It's not Spud Webb. Mini me. Spud Webb was on the There's Hawks. There's Spud Webb on the Hawks. No, there was Earl Boykin. Earl Boykin. Bro. Yeah. Right? He was, he was like tiny. Oh, it was Earl Boykin. Boykin. He right? was like tiny. Yeah. That's he, a great Because like so what Spud, Webb, Spud, so Webb, good? Spud Webb and uh, Muggsy Bogues were like kind of like They're stocky. better at Stop. basketball than you. I know, but it's like, do you think it's like the mouse and, and elephant dynamic where, you know, the big guys are sort of afraid of a little guy running around their legs like that? I just think they're really fast and elusive that... When you're that large and lanky, it's probably difficult to like. I think at that point it should be. If the you other have night, super athleticism like a Nate Robinson, mm, you know how lightning quick he probably is on the court. For how tall he is, you mean? Or well, Nate's short, short, yeah. So if you're like a Yao Ming stiff, it's very hard to. Yo, Yao Ming wouldn't even move before this motherfucker was already slam dunking. I mean, when he was drafted, he was like not very athletic. Yao Ming. So by the time he actually anyone had to else retire, super he impressed that Bill Russell lived to eighty eight? Like, am. if it any of those people lived to, Why? not those people. What I mean, sorry. Like? I mean, there, like, there were very many occasions where I just did assume Bill Russell was dead. So, yeah, Bill Russell's like the greatest basketball. Well, biggest winner in American sports history he has eleven titles. One as a player coach. What is this man? He black? won at the end. What? What is he? A black man or a white man? Bill Russell. That could go either way. That could be a white man or a black man. It's Russell Bills. William Russell? William it's ma- William Russells. Do you think anyone called him William Russell? No. Guaranteed. That's classic. Do you think that's his actual name? I mean, I would assume. Yeah. Unless it was like Billiam. <laughs> Billiam. 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 Who do you got in, uh, wrap up the episode, who do we got in our death pool? We should start a death pool. Who's next? Uh, The first Charlie. Sh- I'm going Charlie Sheen. 
I think it's finally going to catch up to him this year. I am going to go with. I think Demi Lovato. That's a great That's actually poll. A pretty good answer. That's mm-hmm. a great. She's uh, she is she again? She's she's gender fluid. He hates gender fluids. <laughs> yep. She <laughs> says she says she's fluid with her gender, sexuality, music, and creativity. How how is one fluid with your creativity? And in I w- are you I kidding? I don't think we can squeeze this. Are you kidding? I'm not fluid the way she's fluid. 